Hi, this is Tim, and I have a cautionary tale for you today about buying batteries from eBay. And it it may look like you're getting a bargain, but um, let's have a look. So I recently bought some of these. These are um, Samsung 18650 lithium-ion batteries. This is actually a genuine cell. I know this is a genuine cell. And um, it's an INR 18650-25R. This indicates that it's a 2500, 2500 milliamp hour cell, or a 2.5 amp hour cell. But uh, in marketing terms, obviously 2500 of something sounds much better, but actually that's 2.5 amp hour. Um, now, I recently, I'm, I'm actually trying to build up, these are quite commonly used. They're sold by vape shops, they're used in torches, laser pointers, and they're quite common in... USB battery packs. Now I'm actually making up my own USB battery pack, which is why I'm buying these. So I managed to get four of these genuine ones and then they were out of stock. But so I bought another four from a, from a company on eBay and, and these were the ones I got. The only obvious difference here is that they have this silver sticker on. Now these batteries were listed as, and I quote, 100% genuine Samsung INR18650 2500 milliamp hour lithium ion battery okay these are counterfeit these are not made by these are not made by samsung so i wanted to show you some of the differences um first of all how do i know they're not genuine well i tested them of the original batch of four i bought um my i have an advanced multi-chemistry battery charger i'll shoot i'll just show you that um, so it's a HTRC H120 Duo and it's actually got two chargers built into one box and this will actually charge lithium ion, lithium poly, lead acid, nickel metal hydride, NICAD, anything really that's chargeable. Whenever I receive a new battery the first thing I always do is completely discharge it and then fully charge it on that charger and it tells me the number of milliamp hours of charge the battery's accepted. So this one, genuine Samsung, genuine, gen, it's just difficult to say, genuine Samsung took just over the 2500 milliamp hours and you'll find that a genuine battery will just, will go over the, the specified amount by about 100 milliamp hours or so. So that's that one. Now, these are the ones I received from eBay, supposedly genuine. And the first red flag for me is that this there's this silver label, okay? It's o over the top of the manufacturer's markings. And in every case, this label is exactly over the top of the manufacturer's markings. So these are not put on haphazardly. These are deliberately put on over the top to hide the manufacturer's markings. And I think it's done that way to get them through customs, okay? So on this one, I've actually taken the label off and moved it to a different location. And you can see there underneath is what would be a fake manufacturer's mark. And if you compare it with the genuine one, you can see the, the, the genuine one is, let's use my pointer instead of my fat finger. The genuine one is, is slightly bolder this one's a little bit, a little bit fainter. This one actually is better quality printing. It's it's all straight and in line. This one, however, the font is a little bit wavy. I believe they're putting these stickers on to hide the manufacturer's mark so that they come through customs and customs can't say you're trying to pass a counterfeit product off as genuine. Okay, because I think these are made as counterfeit in China and then that marks covered up to get them through customs. So um, of the of the original batch of four I had, one of them was rejected by my battery charger as, as dud. It wouldn't charge it at all. One of them was actually pretty close to the manufacturer's spec of 2,500 milliamp hours. The other two were significantly below, and I'm, t I'm talking about 25 to 30% below. And they probably wouldn't have as good a chemistry and they probably wouldn't last for as many charge cycles either. They might have been recycled from used laptop batteries or something like that. You can never tell. But um, actually, I don't think I don't think they were ever genuine. Um, and 
if you take a close look, I'll show you some of the signs. Now on a, on a genuine battery, you can see that this has the two grooves at the top here. There's one, there's another one. Okay. And if you look at the fake battery, it only has the one groove here. Okay. Another telltale sign of a genuine Samsung battery is, and, and you may not be able to see this. Okay. But just here, I don't know if you can see this in the camera, but there are some, there are some other markings showing through. So this, this green um, colouring is actually a plastic sheath. Underneath this, it, the battery colour is silver, the same as the bottom here. It's, the can is all that silver colour. And during the production process, those are printed with other markings. And you can just see the, the edge of one of those markings there. And just here. And also, there's... Um, if we go around a bit more, there we go. I hope I don't know if you can see this at the top here. You can see markings showing through. Now on these batteries, there are no such markings. Okay, nowhere, nowhere on that battery is any such marking. And um, one final difference is if you stand the batteries up on end and look at the air vents. This is the genuine battery here, and you can see the air vents here are a certain size look at this battery and th these are a th you can see this is much more cheaply made this is kind of just bent into shape whereas this one looks like it's been pressed into shape and it nevertheless it's kind of hard to tell the difference between these batteries if you don't really have your wits about you so um the big red flag for me is this silver sticker that comes on them i think that's a trick to get them through customs if you see that send them back run away say i don't believe these are genuine if you don't give me my money back i'm going to report you to trading standards or customs or something and usually they'll well if you've paid with paypal you're pretty much guaranteed to get your money back um so there we are um be careful these are going back um I complained to them and they actually sent me some more out as if that was going to make any difference. And I said to them, look, you can send me more if you want, but I'll just reject them again if they don't charge properly. And anyway, they insisted they wanted to try. They only sent two replacements instead of four anyway, so it wasn't enough. But the two they sent were even worse. They were probably 30% below spec. So these are all going back. Um, they sent me a prepaid reply label, which I strongly suspect is fake, but yeah i i don't know we'll have to, i'm just gonna it's the label they gave me so i'm gonna use it and see what happens so um yep be careful if it seems too good too good to be true it probably is don't get ripped off i've been tim thanks for watching and goodbye